तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीम तत्ताम Hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Padma Menon and on this channel I share information and practices from ancient goddess traditions from my culture which is India. Today I'm delighted to share with you how the ancient goddess traditions completely flipped some of the very popular ideas we have about Indian spiritual practices. I'm referring to the practice of the seven chakras. Now some of you may know that in the popular practice of Indian spirituality today there are seven chakras three lower chakras below the waist and four above the waist and the invitation in the spiritual practice generally is that you move from the lower chakras through the upper chakras and finally you transcend the body because the last chakra is just above the crown of your head so this when we reach the upper chakra this chakra that's above the crown of the head is when uh, it's called awareness or transcendence or coming into consciousness or however you may wish to call it now in the goddess practice the invitation was quite the opposite here the invitation is to drop into our depths so in the chakra system that would mean dropping into the three lower chakras and there is a very simple practice the pot which is used in the tradition for this purpose now you may know that the lower chakras are the earth water and fire the three elements that are also there in the pot the synergy is beautiful so what we are asked to do in the practice of the pot is to connect with the weight which is the earth so it's like the feet are the base of the pot so you bring the weight into the feet you connect with the earth then the pot is filled with water so the movement of the water in the hips is the sensation and this sensation is something that is deeper than our feelings and emotions it is the elemental sensations and it is what connects us to the elemental sensations like the sensuousness of the leaves moving in the wind or the sensation of a thunderstorm and so that is done through the water practice the practice of water in the hips and then the fire element is the element of where we offer our actions our consciousness our lives as an offering to the world and to life at large just as when you offer things into the fire you don't expect anything back so we are able to offer without any self interest so once you connect with the earth not just materially through the weight but even through our sensations we we know we experience viscerally how we are part of all these elements of nature then we can offer our life unconditionally without any self interest in the service of the harmony of all of life and all of nature so when we live in times where most of the ways in which we practice or live are very linear so there's a lot of emphasis on rising on advancing on going up getting better and finally even transcending the body here is this beautiful practice that asks us to come back to our foundations and when we come to our foundations it is like we build the foundation of the house and on this foundation anything else can be built we don't need to take care of that all we need to do is to return to our foundations and that is the invitation of the goddess practice and what i think is most beautiful about this practice is that divinity is intimately within you it is not remote it is not about transcending the body but it is through the body in the body that we experience our own divinity I have put some links to a few of the pot practices in this tradition so if you're intrigued I invite you to go and have a look at them and perhaps even try them and they're wonderful ways of getting back into your groundedness and feeling reconnected again with the beautiful nature and life all around us so thank you so much for joining me I hope I will have the pleasure of your company again on this channel